Hi everyone, I'm Frida and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how I made this Sphinx Moth Cloison Enamel Pendant. First I designed and cut out the shape with my saw. I used a copper base and also copper wires for this project. I decided to give it more dimension so I domed the body of the moth. I actually used my yoga mat for this. After it was done, I turned it ar around and corrected the deformations with my mallet. Of course, I inhaled the piece before the whole process and I also pickled it to clear off the copper oxides. Now I'm smoothing out the wings and making them curvy with my doming block and my mallet. Now it's time to apply the clear fuse. I did this for both sides. I fired them separately and pickled it between. Very important if you work with copper that you don't only wait until the enamel melts, but you keep firing until it becomes almost like gold color. That means that the copper oxides dissolved in the clear fuse. I sped up this part of the video twice. Now it's time to do the wire work. This time I've chosen copper wires instead of silver. I love to work with copper also. It has an old ancient look to it which I really love. And if you're just learning the technique, I really suggest to try it on copper because it's less expensive than fine silver. While I'm doing this, I tell you about moth symbolism. Moth can symbolize transformation, hidden knowledge and the ability to navigate through darkness. In Native American cultures, moths are considered a spirit animal and they can guide individuals to find their true self. I'm finishing up the wire work here and you cannot have straight or slightly curved lines when you work with cloisonne because they would just fall over in the kiln or when you're firing it with a torch. So I'm trying to make little loops which I'm gonna cut off after the piece is fired because they overhang to the side. Now I'm removing the wires from the sticky paper and placing them on the surface of the pendant using glue. The glue helps to keep them in place until the next firing. During the firing, the cloisonne pieces are going to get stuck in the base coat as it melts and they're not gonna move around anymore. So you can fill it out between the wires with gorgeous colors. I did the firing off camera. Now you can see that oxides developed on the copper wires, so it's crucial to pickle it if you work with copper. You have to pickle it between each firing. Now I cut off the pieces which overhung from the base. After this I applied the first layer of enamel, but unfortunately I lost the footage somehow so I only can show the firing. I pickled it after to remove the oxides from the wires. I just eyeball the ingredients for my pickle. I use one part of water, one part of vinegar and a bunch of salt and I don't really heat it up and it works fine. Here I apply the second layer of colors and it's exactly the same process as the first wet packing. So although I lost the footage there but here you can see what I'm doing and this is what I did at the first time too. The only thing you have to make sure that the enamel is really really dry before you fire it. I fired it off camera and here I'm doing the sanding with my diamond pad and a lot of water. I do this to expose the wires and make the surface smooth. The enamel loses its shine during the sanding process, you can see it here. So I fired it again to get the glossiness back. The last touch is to put this enamel piece in this setting I just made. And this is how it turned out. I only wish that I would have made the stripes a little bit brighter white, but overall I like how it turned out. And I really love the copper wires 
I think it's matching the colors of the moth. If you like this video, please subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. And see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.